Water is one of the basic needs of all living things. But how do fish, whose living environment is water, take water into their bodies? The question is, do fish drink? The answer is both yes and no. Saltwater fish take in plenty of water, whereas freshwater fish don't. The reason is a phenomenon called osmosis. Osmosis is the passage of water or some other solvent molecules from a high concentration to a low concentration through a semi-permeable membrane between different environments. For example, if we divide a container in two with a semi-permeable membrane that has spaces only water molecules can pass through and put salt water on one side of the divider and fresh water on the other, we find that water molecules move from the fresh water to the salt water. This is because the concentration of water molecules in fresh water is higher than the concentration in salt water. The movement of water across the membrane continues until this difference is balanced out, and the concentration of water molecules is the same on both sides. The concentration of salt in the bodies of freshwater fish is greater than the concentration of salt in the water where they live. In other words, the concentration of water molecules in freshwater fish is less than the concentration of water in the environment around them. Because of this difference, osmosis occurs and the water in the environment constantly enters the bodies of the fish through their skin and gills. The skin and gills act as a semi-permeable membrane. For this reason, fish living in fresh waters don't also drink water. In fact, they often remove excess water from their bodies in their urine. If freshwater fish drank water, they'd swell up. In the sea fish, on the other hand, the concentration of salt in the fish's body is less than the concentration in the surrounding water. In other words, the concentration of water molecules in a sea fish is greater than in the surrounding seawater. For this reason, water from within the fish constantly passes through the gills to the environment where it lives. Because saltwater fish lose water all the time, they have to drink a lot to compensate for this loss and maintain a balance. If they didn't drink water often enough, they'd shrink. In freshwater, the concentration of dissolved salts is less than 0.5 parts per thousand, whereas in seas, dissolved salts make up more than 35 parts per thousand. This difference determines whether a fish drinks water or not. Also, because of this difference, saltwater fish usually can't survive in fresh water, nor freshwater fish in salt water. There are some fish species that don't obey this rule. For example, bull sharks living in the sea can adapt to fresh water. When these sharks move from salt water to fresh, they stop drinking water, their kidneys filter less salt, and the amount of urine they produce increases. So bull sharks can be found in rivers near the sea. Species such as salmon and sea snakes are members of a group called the Urihalines. These species can live in both salt and fresh water. Salmon are born in fresh waters and spend most of their lives in the sea. At the end of their lives, they come back to the fresh water where they were born, mate, and then die. 